Vice-Chancellor, Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, it is enormous honor for me to be here today um, at the Teesside University in a part of the world that my family grew up in. And uh, my mother was born in Houghtonie Spring and my uh, father in Newcastle and my sister in Harrogate and myself in Scarborough. So I always feel when I come here that I'm coming home a bit. Um, I'm talking to some people who seem on the surface of it, the graduates today, would have little in common with what I do on the face of it. But actually, that's not the case. Because I think we both have chosen in many ways a lot of things in common. Both require an understanding of human nature and of human frailty. And both work in collaboration with others, depending on each other's various skills and listening to each other's expertise. Most of all, working with others as a team. I'm as good as the actors around me. And you can see that when you do a play very visibly. It's a bit like being in a, in a very good football and you're, you have somebody who passes the ball across the net and somebody else puts it in. That's what acting is like and I'm sure in many respects that's how your future careers were going to go. Before we leave here though, I would just like to speak about something else before we get into the world of reality where you have to pay mortgages and find ways of getting to work and all the things that go with normal life and talk about something that's um, very close to me. The English language is the most wonderful language, in my opinion, in the world. It's the most subtle, it can do the most things with the English language and it has a lot of extraordinary phrases that we grow up with and we get used to, and we say them without even thinking about them. And a lot of those words and those phrases use an organ we all share, which is our heart. We talk about learning something by heart. And when we're a little girl or a little boy, we learn nursery rhymes by heart. We learn arithmetic by heart. We learn poems by heart. And when we get older, we have a lot of other things we learn by heart because they are the things we have to keep with us. We also talk about heart-stopping events. And we feel sick at heart. Or we feel heartfelt gratitude. Or heartfelt apologies. But the most important of all these, in my opinion, is learning by heart. Because whatever one has learnt, and I'm trying to, I learn a lot by heart because that's my job. I have to learn lines all the time. And I get onto a stage and try and express the lines that the writer has given me as best as possible. And so my heart has to come into it. Now that's a very emotive word, but we all do have one and it beats away there. So it's not just an intellectual exercise we're carrying out. It's something else. It's taking the whole of our being and putting it into something that we really believe in. And my job is to translate what the writer has done and make it available to us, an audience, make it understandable and as near as to the right, what the writer wanted as possible. And I'm sure I would be humbled to do anything that these graduates today are doing, but they will do exactly the same thing. And I think we must always remember, all of us, that it's not just an intellectual exercise, that our whole body and all our emotions take place when we go forward into our work. Thank you very much.